What's up guys, this is Matt from the Nerdy Review. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a simple way to add text and designs to a curved surface in Fusion 360. So curved surfaces can be hard to work with because you can't select them and add sketches directly to them. So you have to find workarounds. Now there are a handful of ways to do this, but what I'm going to show you is just one of the easier ways and also a very useful way because of how easy it is. So for this example, I'm gonna use a custom jewel case as our design. So you can see our custom jewel case is ever so slightly rounded. Now, just the slightest rounding, but it will cause issues. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, why you can't necessarily just add text and, ex and just do an extruded cut. Um, the reason being that because of the curved surface, uh, the depth of the cut won't be even. It won't be the same depth in all the spots. And this will be very apparent very quickly. All right, so first, I'm just going to do an extruded cut, and I'm going to show you guys why you have to be careful just doing an extruded cut to add your text to the surface. Let's do negative 9. All right, that looks good since it's a smaller addition. All right, so we can see here I made that extruded cut. Now, the problem is that look at this T. You can see over here the depth of the cut compared to over here. It's slanting all the way up until you even don't have depth anymore. Now you could use this as like a way to do your text that like, you know, you could do this on purpose and, you know, you could use that as a look. But that won't always work depending on what you're designing. So I'm going to show you how to do this in a way that that won't work for you you know, if you want the text to be an even depth all the way around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude again, but instead of doing a cut, I'm going to make a new body. Okay, now what we're going to do next is going to be a little tedious, but we're going to form each of these letters to the shape of the jewel case. Now, so what this means is, after I did that cut feature just now, this letter is slightly curved to match the, the case, the shape of the case. So we're going to do that to every single one of these letters, and then we're going to move them in. And you'll see when we're done how this is going to work. Just a couple more here. Now for the eye, got to make sure that I do it twice because the dot is a separate body. Okay, there we go. They are all cut. The size. Now we're ready to do a move. So all I'm going to do now is just select every one of these bodies for the text. And then I'm going to move it a half millimeter in. I usually do between a half millimeter and 0.75 uh, just because I've found that for, especially for 3D printed parts, that uh, it just looks the best. Um, but you definitely can experiment around with it. So after we do the move, we're going to do our combine tool again. This time we're going to select the case. And for the tools, we're going to select all of these. Whoops. 
So what I meant to do was not keep the tools. And now we have our text. And as you can see, it's all in even depth, you know, just as we wanted. And then you can apply this same concept to uh, graphic designs as well. You don't just have to do text. So I'm going to show you a quick little graphic design, so to speak. Nothing too complex, though. So again, the first thing we're going to do is extrude a new body. Now you can see that it's going to go out the back a little bit how it is right now. If you make it go out the back, then you're going to have extra bodies after you do the cut because you're going to cut out this portion to make it fit the shape of the jewel case. And then it's going to split this body into this part and a part that would have been right here. So if you notice that, it definitely will help you to avoid doing that. It won't be the end of the world if you do it, but it'll just make your life harder. So now we're going to move this one in. I'm going to do a 0 0.5. Do another cut. And now we're starting to get some designs on the edges. So here is a simple way to add designs and text to curved surfaces. And also at the same time, this was a tutorial on how to make a custom jewel case. I will provide this file for the jewel case on Thingiverse, and if you wish to download the jewel case and customize it yourself, uh, you're more than welcome to. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. There will be more tutorials coming out, so stay tuned. Thank you very much.